In this video, we will perform a two-sample t-test, also known as an independent samples t-test, assuming that the population variances of the two samples are equal. Let's consider the following example, where the amount of exercise for a sample of statistics students are given, and a claim is made that the mean exercise time for female students is less than the mean exercise time for male students and the significance level alpha is set at 0.05. Now, in this case, the null hypothesis states that the population mean exercise times for female and male students are equal, and the alternative hypothesis tests the claim that the population mean exercise time for female students is less than that of male students. This is a left-tailed test because the alternative hypothesis includes the less than sign. Now, before performing the t-test, we need to test whether we can assume that the two population variances are equal. This can be done either by using the thumb rule or performing the f-test for two population variances. To test this assumption, open an Excel spreadsheet and write the sample data values in it. Now calculate the sample variances of the two groups. The thumb rule states that the sample variance of one group should not be more than twice the sample variance of the other group. From the calculated sample variances, there is evidence that the sample variance of one group is not more than twice the sample variance of the other group. Now, you can also use the Excel function f.test which returns the p-value for the f-test. The p-value for the f-test is very large, which means there is weak evidence of difference between the two population variances. Hence, we can assume that the population variances of the two groups are equal. Now go to the menu bar and select the data tab, and in the analysis section select the data analysis tool pack then click on t-test, to sample assuming equal variances. Now in the pop-up window, go to the input section and select variable 1 range then select variable 2 range. The hypothesized mean difference is 0. Check the box for labels. Input alpha 0.05 and then select a cell for the output range. The output summary of the t-test is obtained where the key results for the hypothesis test are as follows. The t-statistic is approximately minus 1.5294. The p-value for the one-tailed hypothesis test is approximately 0.0664. Since the p-value is greater than the significance level of 0.05, the null hypothesis is not rejected. Hence at a 5% significance level, there is not sufficient evidence to conclude that the population mean exercise time for female statistics students is less than the population mean exercise time for male statistics students. Please comment if you have any questions relating to this topic.